Greetings. Welcome to the news channel. The people's channel. No, them our saints were said like father, like son. And this is exactly what we are discuss in this video. Where a father and his son get life sentence for the same crime. Stay tuned for the full report. Blessings to all subscribers and viewers. If you're here for the first time, you can support the channel by like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. So people, as we say, like father, like son, and this is what we're gonna discuss in this video. A Jamaican man who was peered deportation following legal challenges backed by a Labour member of parliament and a host of celebrities was recently sentenced to life imprisonment for a dropout he committed after he was allowed to remain in the UK. Ernesto Elliott, 45, was scheduled for deportation to Jamaica in December 2020. But the move was scuttled by last-minute human rights appeals. According to the UK Daily Mail, Elliott dropped out a 35-year-old man in what it described as a horrific knife fight in June 2021, just six months after he was supposed to have been deported from Britain. Elliot was due to be deported in 2020 after being convicted of a knife crime. However, he and 22 others serious criminals submitted last-minute appeals including human rights claims which prevented them from being forced on Jamaica's already strained justice system. The 23 criminals had been sentenced to a combined 156 years in jail. Their appeal came just days after 60 celebrities, authors, and other public figures signed an open letter opposing the flight, the Daily Mail said. They include supermodel Naomi Campbell, Line of Duty star Tandiwe Newton, even James Bond, actress Naomi Harris, and historian David Olsoga, a host of Labour MPs also added their signatures. Opposition MPs even compared the deportation flight to the Windrush scandal, even though the Caribbean migrants who suffered awful injustice in that episode had committed no crimes. On June 2nd, 2021, Elliot was involved in a vicious knife fight in broad daylight in Greenwich, South East London. Alongside his son, Nico, 23, Elliot robbed and dropped out a man by the name of Nathaniel Iwo Ago in a fight over DRUGS. The horrifying incident was videoed by shocked neighbors it shows Elliot, his son, and another man repeatedly longing with long blades knife and a hammer at the victim who was armed with a machete. Iwo Ago collapsed after being joked through the heart and dropped out in hospital six days later. After a trial at Old Bailey last month, Elliot from Walton Snow, East London, was sentenced to life imprisonment 
with a minimum term of 26 years and a concurrent sentence of 12 years for robbery. His son was sentenced to life imprisonment with a minimum term of 22 years and a concurrent sentence of 10 years for robbery. So just as we said, people, like father, like son, no, him get a chance, people, to change him life around because him was supposed to be deported in 2020. You know what I'm saying? And everybody come forward, including the MPs and the actress, even James Bond, put him signature to it. You know what I'm saying, people? And now him and him son will spend the rest of their life in prison. What a sad, sad story. No better Aaron, no better Barrel. Like father, like son. Please leave your comments down below and tell me what you think. One aim, one God, one destiny. Walk good, talk good, live good. Blessings.